We can get the latest now from our correspondent, Neve Barker. He's in Moscow for us. Uh, and Neve, tell us exactly where this accident happened and just how difficult the rescue operation is proving to be. Well, the accident itself took place on the Volga River, uh, several hours south of the regional capital of Tatarstan, Kazan. Um, the location itself is about 750 kilometers east uh, of the Russian capital. And uh, if you look at a map of uh, where the sinking actually took place, it happened just at the opening of a river basin on the, on the Volga itself, which is, of course, Europe's biggest river at its widest point. It's two kilometers across. So uh, if, uh, as you say, that the sinking did take place in the middle of the river, it would have made it very, very difficult for potentially those in the water to make it to uh, the bank. Um, the, the location itself is also quite remote, so the chances of frequent passing boats uh, is quite low as well. So it is a remote location. Helicopters went in to try and help the uh, rescue operation. And from what we've just learned, uh, a plane load of uh, specialist divers is on its way over to the, uh, to the Tatarstan region now to help in the rescue operation. But unfortunately, um, uh, fears are, are growing for at least 84 people that are uh, believed to be uh, uh, still uh, missing. They're unaccounted for. 85 uh, have been uh, rescued, some of them are in hospital uh, and the latest that we've heard from the Russian Emergencies Ministry is that two bodies have been recovered. One of those has been uh, identified as being uh, linked to the ship itself. The other body is yet to be identified but the rescue operation uh, is ongoing. Also uh, an investigation into why the accident happened uh, is underway also. All right, Neve Barker with the latest on that incident on the Volga River. Thanks for that, Neve.